Hello, it's Victoria. Welcome to Cooking with the Countess at the Campbell House Museum. I'm in the carriage house. It's Victoria and we are going to keep it short and simple tonight. We're making lemonade and I'm going to give you a super easy recipe to make real awesome lemonade without any sugar. It does have honey um, and you do boil it first and I know that sounds strange but it gets in all the flavor that you want. So you need eight cups of water which I already have simmering on the stove and all you want to do is simmer. And what you see floating in there is mint leaves. And those mint leaves, um, you know, you can just um, buy some at the store. I pick them fresh out of our garden, make sure to really clean them thoroughly, almost boil them before I put them in the submarine hot water. But you know, just a quarter cup is plenty. Um, or two tablespoons full, that's, I mean, that's plenty. Then you need six lemons, one of which I've started to cut already, and you need your honey, and you need eight ounces of honey. And what I did to make this simple, uh, for me, because I've already done a batch, is get the six ounce bottle, and that way I know if I put half of it in, I've got what I need. So you go ahead and simmer, and so like I said, I've cut this up, I'm gonna take that lemon, squeeze, you squeeze all the juice in from all six lemons, you lemon, let it simmer, so you squeeze in all that juice from all six lemons. If the seeds go in, that's fine because you're gonna um, filter it out later, strain it out. In goes the honey. And again, um, this is a local grower. If you can, try and use local honey because you get the benefit of um, the pollen allergies. It, you know, if you drink, if you eat local honey, you can usually put it in your tea. It really helps with your allergies. So that's one other thing I like to do with honey. And you wanna try or use raw if you can, raw and local. Okay, so you can see it's simmering. And I've stirred it, obviously. <laughs> oh, so just a couple thoughts while you're watching it simmer. Um, this is great if you need vitamin C. It's all natural, no added sugar. Um, it will be pretty tart, so you could actually break it down and maybe use more water if it's too tart. Um, you can use it as a cleanse method. If you go to Rob's YouTube channel, it's called On the Cheap Tip. He will give you the uh, one day diet that you use this as a uh, detox to help you lose weight. Um, <laughs> I did try that, but I will tell you, just a note, this is a lot of fiber. So um, yeah, it'll clean you out all right. So just a warning. Um, and you wanna be careful too, because if you have GERD, you know, um, regurgitation issues, ulcers, that sort of thing, it's only gonna irritate it. So you want to be careful. It's a lot of citrus and canker sores. You want to not do that because, again, this is the pure lemon of six lemons. You've got a couple teaspoons, tablespoons of mint, which is also very, you know, can be very potent. But it smells amazing in here. This would be a great thing to do on a day where maybe you were doing some stuff around the house and it's just it doesn't smell too good or whatever. The citrusy scent really makes the house smell fantastic. So again, I'm gonna let it simmer for about five more minutes. I'm gonna stir it up because I can see the honey is starting to sit, settle in the center again, and you really wanna melt it throughout the batch. And it's nice and cool. I've got the lemonade in my fancy wine pitcher and I'm gonna get this out here mm. tasty thanks for watching